The Blipstar lifestyle is about embracing your own movement and going against any and all grains. It's never hard to find a critic or someone to tell you what's wrong with your idea. Tougher to find a collective of minds willing to tell you what's good about your plan. In a world full of yin, the Blipstar lifestyle helps provide the yang. Growing up, I've always been in tune with my artistic side, but never anything further than just art classes. As I got older, I started to just think of other ways of being creative. And then that was when I just started to focus more on things like embroidery and fashion manufacturing, and embroidery really started to catch my eye. I was able to watch one of my good friends use an embroidery machine at LIDS for like a year or two, and just kind of watching from behind the scenes really instilled this curiosity in me. And once I was able to really get around some industrial embroidery machines and learn it on my own, I started to just focus on the possibilities of other ways of creating. So around 2013, I really just started to focus my creations into a clothing brand idea. Once the lifestyle came about, I kind of really viewed it as an outlet to create freely. It was my way of being able to do what I wanted to do, and I really started to enjoy the type of creations I was coming up with. I like to just pay a lot of attention to the world around me. Then when I come back to the lab, I might have an idea or it might be a line that I heard someone say that I'll just end up writing on the door so I don't forget it. And then I just started to collage all of my ideas and artwork on the walls. And before I knew it, the lab just started to look like my mind, essentially. When I'm in here, I would say the creative process is almost brainless work because I could just look around and might be able to come up with an idea on the spot. Or I might be having a hard time thinking and something will just opened up my mind to the right path that I wasn't on originally. I would say my downfall to my creativity is my own self sometimes because I like to think as a perfectionist would and sometimes I'll hold myself back because I might think something isn't as fire as it could be or I could still add things to it. And then the importance of me having fellow blips around really starts to show when I start getting into those type of mindsets because they'll be the ones to tell me what I should do or they'll be the ones to encourage me to really just put it out and not think so much or they'll also give me constructive criticism if what I'm creating isn't up to par with what we're trying to express. I'm very thankful for having the creative space that I do have because not a lot of people have the freedom to just openly create and put out whatever's on their minds at that moment. And it really gets put into perspective for me whenever someone new comes into the lab because it reminds me that I have a creative haven, a place where people can come and just express themselves as freely as possible without any type of judgment or any type of negativity. In the future, I see myself essentially doing what I do now on a greater scale. I would really love to create multiple safe spaces, not just one shop. My goal would be to have various shops throughout different parts of the world where people could come and freely create and just kind of bounce ideas off each other the same way me and my friends do in here. If you do everything wholeheartedly, you're essentially a blip star. 